The essential parts of a theodolite. What is the instrument that is commonly used for measuring horizontal and vertical angles? The answer is theodolite. Have you ever wondered what are the essential parts does a theodolite consist of? Well, let us first learn about the essential parts a transit theodolite is made up of. The first and most important part of a theodolite is the telescope. The telescope is mounted on a spindle known as trunion axis. It has two lenses, eyepiece and object piece. The telescope is fitted with circular graduated arc known as the vertical circle. The vertical circle rotates with the telescope and is graduated from 0 degree to 360 degrees in clockwise direction for the measurement of vertical angles. By means of vertical circle, clamp and its corresponding slow motion screw, telescope can be set at any desired position in vertical plane. To read the readings of vertical circle, Two verniers are fitted at the extremities of an index arm. The index frame and the vertical circle clamp are attached to the standards or A frame. Trunion axis of the telescope is also supported on the A frame. The two standards resemble the letter A and are mounted on the upper plate. To level a theodolite, it is fitted with a leveling head. Leveling head consists of two parallel triangular plates known as tribrac plates. The two spindles have common axes which form the axis of the instrument. Inner spindle is solid and conical and fits into the outer spindle which is hollow and ground conical in the interior. The outer spindle carries the scale plate or lower plate. The scale plate carries a horizontal circle at its beveled edge. A lower clamp screw and a slow motion screw with the help of which it can be fixed accurately in any desired position. The upper plate carries an upper clamp screw and a slow motion screw for the purpose of accurately fixing it to the lower plate. The upper plate or vernier plate is attached to the inner axis and carries two verniers with magnifiers at two extremities diametrically opposite. The upper plate carries two plate levels placed at right angles to each other. One of the plate level is kept parallel to the trunion axis. The plate level can be centered with the help of foot screws. When in use, the theodolite is supported with tripod. The tripod consists of three solid legs with pointed steel shoes. The tripod head carries an external screw to which the lower plate of the theodolite can be screwed. Upper tribrac plate has three arms, each carrying a leveling screw. Lower tribrac plate has a hole in the center through which a plumb bob may be suspended. Plumb bob is used to center the instrument exactly over the station mark. For measurements with bearings and meridians, some theodolites are fitted with compass. Some theodolites are fitted with a striding level. It is fitted with bubble level and is used to test the horizontality of the trunion axis. These are the major essential parts together making a theodolite.